Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. Adding and subtracting rational expressions when you have totally unlike denominators, meaning they have no common factors at all. We're going to start kind of easy and get a little more tricky as we go along. So looking at the first one, my denominators are 6x and 5. There's no greatest common factors there, so I want to think what's the least common multiple. What number do 6 and 5 go into? What's the least number? And then also I'm going to have to get an x into the second fraction. Well, the least common multiple here is going to be 30 and x. So in order to get to 30x, this first fraction needs to be multiplied by 5 over 5. The second fraction needs to be multiplied by 6x over 6x. So now my first fraction would look like 55 over 30x. My second fraction, 24x over 30x. Okay. The good news is now I have a common denominator. So what I would do now is combine them into one fraction, 55 plus 24x over 30x. Then what I would do is see if there's any common factors, anything on top that I could factor out and maybe cancel with the bottom, but there isn't. So in fact, that's it. Number one is done. Let's look at number two. The least common, or excuse me, the least common multiple on the bottom, the number that three and four both go into, of course, is 12. So this fraction, the first one is going to need a 4 over 4 to get to 12. The second fraction is going to need a 3 over 3 to get to 12. And then the first fraction already has an x squared term, so the second fraction is going to need that x squared bit. Okay, so now on the first fraction, I'll have 32 on top over 12x squared. My second fraction, I'd have 15x squared over 32x, oops, not 32, 12. Sorry, that's a 12x squared. And some students, in this, when they're doing these things, they might get tempted to cross out those x squareds right there. But remember, we put those there on purpose. We put those there so now we could combine it into one fraction. 32 minus 15x squared over 12x squared. We put those x squareds there on purpose. Okay, so I would look on top and see if there's a greatest common factor between 32 and 15, and there is not. So that's my final answer. Okay, now we're going to get a little more tricky because we have... Um, oh, gosh, I wrote down that problem wrong. Hang on. I was going to say, that doesn't look tricky at all. Um, now we have binomials in the bottom, and the, both the binomials are different. So I want to think about what's the least common multiple. And in problem number three, I can't do anything tricky except for multiply each fraction by the other one's denominator. So here I'd be multiplying by 2x plus 3 over 2x plus 3, and I'll distribute that in a second. This one would be multiplied by 3x minus 5 over 3x minus 5. And now let's see what happens. My first fraction, when I do 8 multiplied by 2x, I'll have 16x and then plus 24 over those two guys. I'm not going to rewrite them right now. In my second fraction, I'd have 21x minus 35 over the bottom, and we'll deal with the bottom in a second. Okay, let's just combine the numerators, just focusing on the numerators. This is a strategy for you guys, is to deal just with the numerators, and when you know the denominators are the same, deal with them later. Okay, 16 plus 21, that's going to be 37x, and then for my constants, I have 24 minus 35, which is negative 11. That's my numerator. My denominator, remember, was... Uh, 2x plus 3 multiplied by 3x minus 5. So I would pause here and see if there's anything on top that I could factor out, maybe cancel with a denominator, but there's not. So I could leave this as my final answer. That's usually fine. Some teachers or texts want you to actually expand that denominator to make it 6x squared minus x minus 15. Either one of those are equivalent. It's just the bottom one is a little more simplified. Okay, now let's look at number four. The first two terms aren't even fractions. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Well, in order to turn them into fractions, they're going to have to have the denominator x plus 2. So I have to multiply these first two terms by x plus 2 over x plus 2. So now my first bit, I have 2x squared times x plus 2. That would be 3... No, it wouldn't. It would, ay, 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 I'm making all kinds of mistakes today. It would be 2x to the third plus 4x squared. That's my first one. Then my next term, if I'm distributing that negative 3, I'd have minus 3x minus 6 over x plus 2. And then at the end, I'm going to have negative x 
plus 1 over x plus 2. Now I did something that's kind of bad form that I've seen students do, is I turned this all into one fraction. I already distributed those negatives, so that was good, but then I wrote x plus 2 three times. You really don't need that. The x plus 2 is just the denominator, and you only write the denominator once. But what this method does do is kind of nice, is it shows you that now all I have to do is simplify the numerator, and whatever that simplified numerator is will go on top of x plus 2. So if I simplify the numerator, I have 2x cubed plus 4x squared, then combining those, I'd have minus 4x and then minus 5. Okay, from there, I'd want to see if I could factor that top, see if anything on top and bottom cancels out. If you know how to do synthetic division, you could check to see if negative 2 um, is a 0 for that top polynomial. To see if it would cancel out, you'll find out that it doesn't. Your remainder is not 0. So in fact, that's your final most simplified answer. And by two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. Work it. Work it. So if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> that should be. Less than. Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. Yeah.